Hi everyone! So today it's so so exciting because I have a huge Jackson's Hole for you today! And I just want to say that there is a lot of products here in this whole haul because I've been making small orders here and there because I don't want to go over the import tax limit, you know? So for Thailand, it's 1,500 Thai baht and that's roughly around 40 to 45 dollars, US dollars. So anyway, I haven't shown you these products in a hull format, so I'm going to do that now. And for some of the products I've already used, so I'll link those videos down below. And depending on when this particular hull video comes out, some videos might be staggered, so you'll see some before or after this hull video. And one last thing before we get started, I just wanted to say a big thank you to all of you who have used my Jackson's affiliate links in the past. It's because of you guys that I've been able to purchase all of these items and this whole haul, like, you know, obviously it doesn't come in one go, but staggered, you know what I mean? Okay, I'm sorry, I'm not the best at like expressing gratitude, but like I just want you to know that I appreciate everyone for every little purchase you make through my affiliate links and yeah, anyways, so okay, okay, I'll just get started, okay? Just please know that I'm grateful to everyone, okay? Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Okay, let's get started, shall we? All right, so I actually have this whole box here full of small little things that I will get to in a bit. So we'll just do this first. All right, this first sketchbook here is from C. White of Brighton as you can see. And I've been really, really enjoying this sketchbook. Um, there you go, those are the specs. And I'll also leave links to every product in the description down below, so don't you worry. Now, this is A5 size and it's 140 GSM paper, 92 pages, that's a lot. And the one thing I want to point out is that this is size for extra wet strength, okay? And I've really had fun painting my Introducing Thailand series. In this sketchbook. Now it's not double-sided painting but I've been painting with it and I feel like I'm very confident to tell you that you can paint double-sided. So let's see. So there's this. I have like some silly things back here that I haven't, you know, I'm gonna cut these out because it just it just doesn't fit with these. But yeah anyways, I really like it. Check it out. Um, I think I'll be making a review of this sketchbook sometime before or after this video. But anyway, you know what? I'm going to quickly go through this because this isn't a review video, it's a haul video. So if I review everything, it's just going to take forever. All right, this next one is the Kadi Fat Book. Um, I hope the review has already gone up because I already filmed that before this one. And so yeah, I've been really, really liking this one. Please check the review out. So, so happy with this sketchbook. It is 100 GSM paper, but it's 100% cotton and it is so, so good. I feel like I found a gem, you know? A lot of people probably haven't bought this just because it's so thin, okay? But trust me, go watch my review video. It's so, so good, okay. Moving on. What is this? I don't even remember. Okay, so I think I have things in here. Oh, okay, right. So um, I may or may not have shown you this before already, but I wanted to add them in this haul video as well for those of you who don't know. These are just printed color charts. So this one is for gouache by Schminke. I think I've shown you this in a previous haul video already. And this is Holbein's gouache. Okay, and I'll tell you when I get to the point in this video why I got this Holbein gouache. Um, obviously, it's not 100%. It's not a hand-painted swatch chart, but these are really cheap on Jackson's. And if you, you know, if you want something physical to see in your studio, I think these are so, so great. So keep in mind that Jackson's has those as well. Okay, this next one is... Oh, Sea White of Brighton again. So I guess I went on sort of like a Sea White of Brighton, um, I don't know, binge buying. Well, not really binge buying. They're really cheap. I, I think Jackson's is cheaper though. I don't quite remember, but yeah. So this is this one. Acid-free, 140 GSM again. Extra wet strength. I believe I haven't used... Like, obviously this one I haven't used at all, but I have the smaller one that I've tried on and it feels like the same paper, but this one is a lot cheaper because it's staple, staple bound and not stitch bound. The previous one that I showed you in the beginning, that one was stitch bound, okay? All right, 
Next up is this one. This is from my most recent haul or like my most recent order. Um, it's Billy, Billy Shoals, A to Z of flower portraits. And that's because I've been painting a lot of loose florals and I've been wanting some sort of like floral uh, reference books just with like, you know, flowers like this because I find that um, previously I was painting from the website Unsplash, which is like, you know, licensed free images and whatnot. And those have been working well, but because I'm on the internet and on the computer, I feel like I tend to get sidetracked. And so when I'm painting, I do want like, you know, I feel like if I had a book like this, then I'd feel less inclined to like scroll through the internet or be less distracted, you know? So this will definitely keep me occupied for a long, long while. And I, I'm so, so happy that I got it. Um, there's some colors here. And I think, I believe Aliona from Aliona Creates, uh, I think she's reviewed this video. I'm sorry, I, I think she's reviewed this book already. So you could take a look at that in-depth review. And I don't know, I might review this myself later, like down the line, probably for next year after I've used it for like, you know, my own painting. So yeah, that's that book. And this is the only like book book that is in this whole video. Okay, I'm gonna put that at the very bottom here because it's distracting. Okay, let's see. We're gonna get to this box now. Okay, so I've moved some stuff around and here is the box. I'm sorry for the shaky camera. Um, this, this right here, this thing is my stand. So yeah, it's gonna be a bit shaky. I do apologize, but I'll try my best. So here we are. I'm gonna show you this quick peek and then I'm gonna move this box to the side, okay? All right, so let's move this off to the side. And you probably saw this at first and it's basically the flower ceramic oops oh no paint okay let's not do that okay so it's the ceramic flower palette i believe i'll leave the link below as well again i don't remember what all of these are called but yeah so i've been wanting a ceramic um sort of like a uh, what do you call it a ceramic mixing space for individual colors for when i first buy them and i want to test them out I mean, I'm sure a lot of you know when you buy new paints, you want to test them out. You're not sure if you want to commit to filling a pan yet or filling your palette, things like that. So that's why I got this palette and it's really nice. It's a really nice, like, you know, texture. Um, so yeah, so some of these, one, two, three, four, I think these are new colors that I bought that I'll be telling you about. And these three wells right here were when I did my mixing and figuring out what I wanted V's Violet to be like. If you don't know what I mean, check this video out. I sort of mix my own color. So yeah, that's what it is. Um, okay, putting this off to the side. Next one here, I'll check, I'll show you these because it's right here and you can see them. So these are Jackson's own brand studio sketchbook. Okay, so it's 20 pages and it's about A6 size, 140 GSM. Now, I got, I actually got these first before I got the C white one because the C white one is also 140 GSM. There is a bit of difference between the two. Um, I haven't completely figured it out yet, uh, but yeah, so I'm, I'm still figuring it out. Both of them are fairly cheap. And the reason I have four of these is because, you know, like one in that order, one in that order, and then one from another order, you know what I mean? And the reason I got this size is because some of the other sizes weren't available in depending on which order I buy them from. And I really want to use this as sort of like, you know, um, a small sketchbook off to the side where I could just open up and then do some, you know, like test swatches real quick. The main, main reason I like this Jackson's sketchbook, oh no, oh no, it's it's a bit off-centered, well, that's fine, is because the pages are like white, bright white. It's not off-white, there's no yellow tinge to it, it's white, white. Let me show you. So I have actually shown you this sketchbook before, but in the A4 format, okay, um, this is, how do I show you? Here we go. So this is also Jackson's, okay. There we go. This is Jackson's art. So it's the same sketchbook, but this is A4 size. 
while this one is a six size, okay? And as you can see, I've done lots and lots of swatches with them. And this, this was when I was doing my mixes, okay? And yeah, the reason I like it so, so much is because it shows color like really, really well. It's bright white. This was when I did my most favorites video. Granulation also shows up really, really well. That's Potter's Pink right there. You know what? I'll show you this page because this is the Magello granulation page. Check the video out up here. So yeah, granulation, beautiful granulation. It shows up really well. It's white. It's, it's just beautiful, okay? So that's why I got it and I was happy to get more because I know that it works. So yeah, that's that. Moving on to the next ones. Okay, next up, we have this one Neo Color One Permanent Wax Pastel. Okay, I haven't used this much yet. I only like tried it right in the beginning. And the reason I haven't used it yet is because this, I've been using this Stedler. And I talked about this Stedler crayon when I did my Cadi review. So do check that one out. Yeah, this is a wax pastel. No, this is a wax crayon. It's a children's crayon, nothing fancy, but I like using it for like a resist in my paintings. So I want to finish this one first, this Stedler one, before I use this because I don't want to use this Karen Dash one and then never go back to this Stedler, you know, where like I'm happy with this Stedler one right now and I do, I could probably get like a lot out of this. So I do want to finish the Stedler before using this, but so far, I do love this one because it's doing what I want it to do, which is give that resist. And the reason I chose to get white is because the resist method of painting that I like is to keep the white of the paper, essentially. So that's why it's white. It's basically similar like to masking fluid, but in crayon form, I guess. Okay, next. So let's move on to something more exciting, shall we? This little box here contains all the gold. All right, so I have some of these here. Okay, one, let, we'll go one at a time, all right? So you may have seen my um, PBR24 comparison video. And so I bought this My Mary Blue one, Naples Yellow Medium. And this is, yeah, this one is PBR24, as you can see right there. And so this was bought for my comparison video as well as this Daniel Smith one here, Chrome Titanate Yellow. I haven't really touched these at all after I bought them. I mean, of course I did that review video, but after that I haven't really touched them because I've been using the, the one from Roman Small, also from that video. This is my Roman Small one, this one right here. And I've, I've yeah, there's a dent in there. So I've been using quite a bit of it and I really like it and I guess I'll continue using the Roman small one for now until I need to refill or replace whatever. Yeah. Um, hopefully I could show you swatches on screen right now so you could see what they look like, but also check out that comparison video. I have like more mixes and stuff like that to show you in that video. This next one is Sennelier's Cerulean Blue Red Shade. So apparently Sennelier has red shade and and just normal, I think. I don't remember exactly. I'll put it up here somewhere so you could also see. Um, but yeah, so this is the red shade. And the reason I bought this one is because it's made from PB28. Now I can't see that. Oh, here we go. It's made with PB28, whereas we all know that Cerulean Blue is usually PB35 or Green Shade is PB36. But PB28 is usually cobalt blue or cobalt teal, things like that. So I was really curious and I did swatch this out. It, it just basically seems like cobalt blue, but with some white to it. So I think maybe I got duped. I don't know. But yeah, I'll, I'll show you a swatch up here in comparison to another like cerulean blue, okay? I may or may not make a video of that later on. We'll see, but yeah, that's why I got this one because you know, you know, I like my cerulean blues and I just like, you know, we all like collecting pigments, right? This next one is Schmincke Hordam's 
Yintico Red. Now, I'm not sure if this is still available because it is limited edition for this year, I believe, or it's just limited edition in general. But yeah, I swatched this out. So my watercolor fairy sent me a half pan of it and I tried it and I loved it so much. I haven't finished the pan, but you know, it's a granulating pink and I love my granulating colors. I love my pinks and I just didn't want to like, you know, pass this up. But also the main reason that I bought this one is because it's not a granulating mixed color. It's just one pigment. And so even if it stays in this tube forever, like 10 years down the line, it's still going to be okay. There's not going to be color separation because of two different weighted pigments. You know what I mean? So that's why I was like, you know what? It is expensive. And I'll be honest, if I didn't have that affiliate credit, I probably still wouldn't buy it with my own money because I think this was like almost 20 US dollars for one five mil tube. And that's really, really expensive. And a lot of you know, I'm more of, of like an affordable person, not a, an expensive person. But yeah, that's why I, I felt like I can invest in it. Okay. All right. So this next one is Roman Smalls Autumn Green. Now, I absolutely love this color. Here we are, autumn green. So this actually came out around autumn of 2022, this one. And I absolutely, absolutely loved it. Initially, I wasn't going to even buy it to begin with, but I saw that it's been on Jackson's like for a really long time. I Well, I mean, for a really long time for me means like a couple months and no one had made a video about it. So I was like, you know what? I have affiliate credit and this is what it's for. I might not have wanted to buy anything or order anything for myself at the time, but I feel like the community would really benefit if there was a video out there about Roman Schmal's Autumn Green. And let me tell you, at the time, I, I don't like greens. I wasn't really like too interested into it. So it's just one pan. And I told myself the community needs to know about Autumn Green. like. Okay, I want to know too. But yeah, so that's why I ordered it along with some other stuff, of course. And then I did the video on it, this video right here. And then I absolutely loved it after that. It's so beautiful. It's one of my favorite greens now. And I don't even like greens. So that's a lot to say. All right, this next one is from My Merry Blue and it's Thalo Turquoise. You can see right there, Halo Turquoise. And some of you may already know why I got this. If you know me, I love my turquoises. But this one in particular, because it's made with PB15 colon four. Now I believe, I don't think we've seen a lot of this pigment. I actually thought PB15 colon four was like Thalo blue red shade. So I'm quite intrigued that like it's a turquoise color. Now, obviously I've swatched this out as soon as I got this, but I'll be making a turquoise video down the line, at least after I film this particular video. So I do plan on making a turquoise comparison video soon. If I have already posted it, I'll leave a link down below. So just keep an eye out for it if it hasn't been posted yet. So there we go. And then next up is this Lucas Cobalt Violet. Now I believe everywhere says this is PV14, but some people say it's PV62, I believe, which is similar to or the same as Schmincke's Cobalt Violet as well. So yeah, um, you know what? It doesn't say the pigment number, but it does say strontium phosphate. And at this point, I just really don't care what pigment number it is. I just really like the color when I swatched it out. It's like a granulating what I would personally use as a lavender. And you guys all know Lucas is pretty affordable for like, you know, the, the amount, the volume that you get. This is 24 mil. So yeah, that's why I was like, I'll get it. I'll get it. It's an investment. I love the color. Why not? right? And I guess I'm also splurging on myself in a way because last year I didn't really get to buy much and I sort of like, you know, kept it all in. I can't buy it. I can't buy it. And now it's 2023. I can buy it all. <laughs> I'm sure you could relate. <laughs> okay, next up are these two. I'll show them together. Here we go. It's Dale Rowney's Artist Watercolors. And we have both shades here, Cobalt Turquoise Red Shade and Green Shade. 
and I will tell you immediately, right away, that these I have regretted <laughs> because, and I, I, I even got both. I shouldn't have. I should not have gotten both at the same time. I will put swatches of them right here for you to see as I'm talking. It, I thought it was cobalt turquoise, and I will tell you the pigment numbers. All right, do you see the pigment numbers? It's both PB36 and PB36, okay? And that is the pigment for cobalt turquoise. And I thought this was going to be like, you know, your cobalt turquoise, but it turns out to be more like a cerulean blue green shade type of color. So yeah, I thought it was I thought this was going to be cobalt turquoise and then I thought I was going to show you guys like, "Oh my goodness, cobalt turquoise has red shade and green shade." But no, so I'm figuring this out. I might make a video on it, like, you know, a soul video on it later. But yeah, so, so sad about these two. Okay, next we have some pencil sharpeners here. This one, super good. This, what is it? This one is by the brand Kum, made in Germany. And it's a four-in-one because, let's take a look. Here, on this side, you get seven and ten millimeters. And this one, 8 and 11 millimeters. So here we go. There's one side, and then there's this other side, okay? Now, I've used the big jumbo pencils in, with this one, and it works well. I used the 11 millimeter hole. It works well, this, this jumbo pencil right here, okay? And then here, this one is also made by Kum made in Germany as well, and it's a double hole for small and the big. Oh, you know what? I actually haven't tried the big pencil, the jumbo pencil with this one, so I'll need to try that. If you want to know, please comment down below in case I forget to. And then this is a pencil cap. It's a pencil cap sharpener, so this is the cap. You know, put it on a pencil, and then if you need to sharpen, you take your pencil out, and then you have this little sharpener here, up here, right? And then you go, oh, oh no, did I just break it? Oh no. Okay, anyways, so here's the sharpener. And then you can just sharpen, 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 sharpen. Okay, th this one's already sharpened, so. Okay, anyways, there you go. And I'll need to figure this out. What, what happened? What did I do? Oh, everyone, take a look. So you could... Here, this is what happens. And then you just open this, put this thing back. Oh, there we go. Yay! <laughs> so that's that's a short tutorial right there, how to use that. Okay, sharpeners, paints, let's move on. Now, I know you could see this Kadi, so I'm just gonna take it out. This is another Kadi sketchbook that I have actually reviewed before. It's 150 GSM. Um, 15 by 15, I believe, yeah, 15 centimeters by 15 centimeters. It's a square sketchbook. It is not stitch bound. It's just glue bound. So um, the pages may fall off after you use it and like bend it or like, you know, flood it with water after a while. But yeah, do check my review video out if you want to know more about it. But the reason I got it is because I was filling up an order and also because I know that I will use this and I love using Kadi sketchbooks. I just love Kadi paper. But you know, between this one and this, this fat book here, I recommend this fat book for value for money. But if you want to get started on like, you know, thin paper, I do recommend this one. Okay, so don't go anywhere. We still have some more paints coming up, but I'm just going through this here as you can see them. You know what? I need to show you these sketchbooks. So here we are. We have more C. White of Brighton sketchbooks right here. And like I told you, I got this because I loved the, uh, um, the Jackson's one and I wanted to try this. And then I actually got this, just, just the one with the hardcover over there that I showed you the very beginning of this video. And this is the soft cover, but also not stitch bound. It's staple bound again. There we go. So you could see that it's staple bound. So the reason I got these soft covers is because I believe the paper is the same. And this hardcover is this price, whereas these two 
together is this price combined. So there's going to be an individual price and a combined price for two to compare like if you want a hardcover or if you just want the pages, you know. But personally, for an art project like my Introducing Thailand series, I do like to go with the hardcover. So yeah, if you want to go for the cheaper route, get these, these um, staple bound. But if you want to be, I don't know, sort of like it looks better when it's hardcover, doesn't it? So yeah, just pick what you prefer, I guess. And then you could see this one right underneath is Stillman and Burns alpha sketchbook i like my sketchbooks hardcover and the reason i got this stillman and burn hardcover one is because you saw that this c white hardcover sketchbook it's cloth bound okay it's cloth bound but this one feels like i don't know fake leather or like plastic so that's the reason i got that and also because everyone was raving about stillman and burn and i actually got this one before the sea whites and stuff so but the thing is i kind of don't like it like okay i did the swatching here and it's so expensive um i haven't done a painting in here yet but it feels a lot like similar in weight uh whiteness of the paper um the experience seems similar on just swatching but for me, I do prefer the C white ones, like they're so good. If you already like the Alpha series that's like hardbound or you want it like a cheaper option, then try the C white. I really, really recommend it. Let's go back to paint, shall we? Um, you know what? I'm going to show you. These boxes are here for you to be curious. <laughs> okay, but I'm gonna show you this one first. I am so so excited about this. It's Windsor and Newton's Designers Gouache. So for those of you who have said that like, oh no, like you can't buy Windsor and Newton from Jackson's. Well, that's true. You can't buy Windsor and Newton from Jackson's. But previously, we were able to. Um, a lot of my American viewers have also said that they've ordered Windsor & Newton from Jackson's before without a problem. However, around April of this year, I believe, um, they sort of like, you know, uh, became strict on it or I don't know if they're like, I think they just had to enforce their policy or something. Something probably happened and they had to like completely enforce their policy. So now I can't buy Windsor & Newton at all from Jackson's. So it's not just you guys, it's me too. But Thankfully, I was able to get this prior to that um, enforcement of policy. So yeah, this is my first set of gouache and I am like, I haven't even touched it yet. I haven't opened the tubes yet, but I am so, so excited to try them. Uh, I'm not sure what is happening with the labeling. Like, can you see this one? This one is just clear white, okay? But this one here, it looks like the label, there's a second label on top of I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. But yeah, I'm so excited to try these. Uh, I'm still in my phase of like watercolors and stuff. I'm working on my Introducing Thailand series and I want to sort of finish that sketchbook first and finish a good amount of it before I get started on gouache. So yeah, this, I'm so, so excited about this. Super happy. Finally can get to know gouache, experiment and explore gouache. So yeah, if anyone has any tips for me to get started, do let me know. All right, and next up we have this little box here where I think a lot of you may have seen already. Dun, da, da, dun. They're empty tubes. Can you see they're empty tubes? So Jackson says it's like uh, 14 mil, but depending on how you crimp your stuff, you could probably get 15 mil, I believe. and. I've used it in this video here when I made my V's Violet. So if you want to see more of that and uh, sort of like my tips on how to use these empty, empty tubes, then do check out this video right here that I'm going to put on screen as well. So yeah, I won't talk a lot about that. Just check out my video. Okay, so we don't have a lot of stuff left. I'm just going to take them all out here. So then you could see them while I talk about the rest. Okay. 
Now this first one here is uh, Jackson's, here we go, Jackson's watercolor postcard book, I believe, or like it's a block or a pad, I, I, I don't remember. So yeah, I haven't gotten into this, but I'll definitely be reviewing it um, after a while. So yeah, there's that. I'm just going to flip this, otherwise reflections everywhere. Uh, and here we go. These two are pretty special as well. Let's let's see this. Okay, what do you think is this is in this Schminka box? Take your guesses. Pause the video and comment down below for your guesses. All right, let me open this one. Oh, we have another pencil related product. It's a pencil cap. Okay, let me take it out for you. It's so tiny. I didn't think it would be this tiny. But yeah, you know what? Pencil caps. You don't really... Oh, there's a slit there in case you need to like... Um, for bigger bigger pencils. That's not bad, but it is a tiny one. So let's see. Um, regular pencil. This is Stedler Mars Lumograph. And then you just cover it. Oh, hey! That's not bad at all. So if I... So... Yeah, it's about that, okay? And then I just went, whoop, and then I'm like, oh no, it won't fit. But I just push a little, and the gap widens, and it fits. Yay! Okay, you know what? I quite like that one. Next is some tubes in here. Oh, I have three tubes? Oh, whoa, no wonder it's heavy. Okay, we'll go with the Schminka tubes first. Here we are. Yay, Potter's Pink! Finally, I have a tube of Potter's Pink. Okay, I tell you what, I actually wanted Windsor & Newton's because um, I feel like Schmincke's Potter's Pink is a bit like too brown leaning. Um, if you've seen my comparison video, you'll know what I mean. I much prefer the Windsor & Newton one. Um, I actually like Roman Smalls because it's like pink, you know, but they don't have a tube yet. So we'll see, at least not the time of me recording this video, okay? So I got myself the Schmincke one just because I really like Potter's Pink. I love it in mixes. It's so beautiful. And this next one is Schmincke's Cobalt Green Dark. And it is made with PG26. And if you know my Roman Small, my favorite Roman Small color, the Aquarius Autumn Green, is made with PG26 in there. So... This one is for making my own autumn green mixes, but I think I'll also be buying Roman Small's autumn green as well. I, I just really like it, you know, um, mixing my own won't be exactly the same as theirs, as Roman Small's. So yeah, I, I'm still going to be buying autumn green from them. Uh, I think once Roman Small comes out with tubes, I'll definitely need to get a tube of autumn green. But yeah, this is just for like me playing around, mixing. I don't have any PG-26 um, that's in this color. I do have one from Rembrandt, but it's it's not like this at all. So yeah, that's, that's why I got this one. So, so happy about it, honestly. All right, and the, the last one in this box is Daniel Smith's Transparent Red Oxide. And as I told you before, I really like this color because I feel like it's in between, you know, um, typical burnt siennas that I feel like personally are a bit too opaque for me and I like transparent red oxides PR 101 for their glowiness but a lot of um, PR 101s that's like transparent oxide aren't granulating but this one is so so good in that it's like a mix between other brands transparent red oxides that are like super glowy super like a quinacridone and transparent it's like a cross between that and burnt siennas with the granulation. So that's why I really, really like this one. Okay, next, what do you want to see? Do you want to see this or this? You know what? I'm just going to go, since we're on a paint roll here, we're just going to do some more paints. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, one, we shall go one by one. Oh, okay. So there's Shinhan and there's Holbein. Holbein first. Holbein's raw sienna. Now, the reason I got this one is because even though right now I still have a lot of my Daniel Smith Transparent Yellow Oxide, the, one of my favorite yellow earth colors, I did want to find sort of like a local alternative that I could buy and use after I finish it up. And I'd rather do that now that I have, like I still have a lot of it left, you know. 
and maybe use both in tandem. And I found that this Raw Sienna by Holbein, even though it's a double pigment one, um, where is it? Here we go. It's made with PBR7 and PY42. Even though it's double pigmented, I still really like like the formulation, the color, how it re-wets, how it lays down, how how it dries. So yeah, I really, really like this one. Um, this will be my Daniel Smith Transparent Yellow Oxide Substitute one day. There, there's that. And then these two here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I really need to tell you about this one. Shinhan's PWC Shadow Green, okay, made with made with PBK31, and it's basically your perylene green. And it's so, so cheap on Jackson's. It's so much cheaper than the other brands. So why would you not get it? And I tried it already. It's just like so pigmented. You get that dark color. It's the cheapest. If you want perylene green, that is affordable. Get this one. And then this last color here, this is our last watercolor for today's haul. I have here Shinhan's PWC Marine Blue. And this one is made with, it says PB15 colon 3. Now, I'm not going to start a war or a battle or an argument. We're just going to take it how it is. You know I like my turquoises and I did try this on their dot card. So I, I believe Jackson's also has their dot card for sale. So I'll link that below as well. But yeah, I tried it on their dot card and it's it looks like a Thalo Turquoise PB16. And it's also a different pigment. I know PB15 colon 3s are usually like Thalo blue green shade and it's not at all turquoise. So a lot of you are going to be like, wait, did they maybe, you know, label their products wrong? Who knows? But like it's on their color chart too. So I really don't know. And you know what? PB15 colon 3, it's green shade. So it's supposed to lean more green anyways. I don't know. It's, someone tell me. Anyone who knows pigments, like have you seen PB15 colon 3 made to be greener than our usual thalo blue green shades? Do let me know down below. Like, yeah, I, I don't want to start an argument, but let's, let's just discuss, <laughs> you know? Yeah, and then I'll also be featuring this in my turquoises comparison later on with my Mary Blue, Alo Turquoise as well. So it, it's going to be a video of turquoises basically because I don't know. You know I love my turquoises. All right, so there we have it. And then we have these last two products here. I'm going to go with this one first. It is the Da Vinci Robbie Alieva set. Now, I don't think I'm going to make a review video for this particular product because Jay, my friend Jay, has made a video of it already over here. So you could take a look at that. Um, super great. He paints with it as well. So just check him out. I I don't need to do a review. Yay. <laughs> but yeah, you know what? Um, I probably won't do a, a like, you know, specific review video for this Rabi Alieva brush set. And that's because people don't really watch brush videos and it, it takes a lot of time to be honest. But the reason I got this particular set is because the handles are like uh, supposedly turquoise. Now that I see them in person, it's a bit like more greener, I guess. But I still like it. it. It's just a turquoise that leans on the green side, you know. I wouldn't say it's like a phthalo turquoise PB16, but it's more of like a Windsor Newton aqua green type of turquoise, you know. It leans more green. And yeah, it's just because the handles are turquoise, so I can't pass it up. You know, I can't pass it up, guys. I just can't. I just can't. Is there is there a hair? Oh no, the oh no, the hair's bent. Oh no, there's a bent hair in there. It's okay. You know what? It's okay. I won't worry about it. So yeah, and and you know I love my quills. Look, it's a quill. It's a quill brush with turquoise handles. How can I pass that up? I did buy this on sale, like during their brush sale. So it got even lower to like, I think I got these two for 20 US dollars or something around there. So, so happy with them. Um, it's a bit uh, different from how I like my brushes because there, can you see that there's like a bulge right here? Now, Jay comments on this in his channel as well. I think, I don't remember, sorry Jay. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm not really like a fan of the bulge. I like my handles really thin and even, sort of like this thin, but 
it's fine it's fine so yeah okay so that's that for the brush set um oh by the way it's da vinci did i say that already okay this last product here for the whole whole is this derwent color soft portrait pencil set of six colors okay finally got that out and here we are now you're gonna laugh at me for this but i actually got this set not for the pencils but for the palette or not the palette the metal box because you know i've been looking for like this like thin slim type of profile for like a palette i believe the shrinker one that used to be on sale like they don't have it anymore because it was a limited edition but yeah so i saw this one and i was like it kind of fits what i want and it fits half pans like oh sorry it fits half pans because it's thick enough and so that's why i got it but after I got it, obviously I had to like, you know, there's a reason I got this set and not like the Derwent drawing set because Derwent does have a lot of these like um, six color sets and all of them are tins as well. So I could have gotten any of those, but there's a reason I got this one. I didn't get the Derwent drawing set because um, I do uh, have an eye on the full set, which is 24 colors, I believe. So I do kind of want to get that one because I love their formula. It's so soft. It's so earthy. And I've, I've been really into earths lately. So yeah, I've, I've been having my eye on that. And I think I'll get it maybe like at the end of this year, because I after this big haul, I kind of want to cool down a bit on the buying and maybe wait for like, you know, Black Friday and whatnot. So anyways, I got this because it's Derwent Color Soft and I did get to try Derwent Color Soft um, from Lark. Uh, Lark sent me lots of pencils and so I was able to try the Color Soft and it was really nice. Yeah, uh, thank you Lark, thank you. <laughs> anyways, um, I tried these out. Hopefully I could put like swatches up here for you and they're so nice. Um, they're they're not like soft like Prisma Colors. I still think Prisma Colors and Holbein's are softer but they're very good. They're definitely like, I really like it. Maybe because it's the color choice or something, but I really, really like it. So yeah, I, I really like the colors. Um, really happy about that. I'll probably take this whole insert out. There, there, you see? You see, you could take the whole insert out. You could put this somewhere else in your drawer maybe or something. But yeah, this would be so nice for a palette. I'm so, so happy. Yeah, I'll probably work on that later down the line because I'm... I'm currently using my Roman small palette here. So yeah, um, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Next time I do like a palette change of sorts then, or like palette rearrangement, then this will definitely come in place for that. All right, there we have it, everyone. That is my whole haul for, um, I guess, the first half of 2023. But it's all thanks to you guys that I'm able to do these sorts of things and be able to purchase these things. But you know what? Now that we're all here and it's all laid out, maybe we could point out some things that I bought specifically for the channel, um, specifically for myself, and maybe some in between that is like for myself and for the channel in the future. So specifically for the channel, definitely this Roman Small Autumn Green that I happen to have fallen in love with. But yeah, it was the for the channel one. And then PB28 Cobalt Turquoises, these Chrome Titanates PBR24s. These are like, okay, I don't know how I'm going to count, but I'll just point them out, okay? So these, this, I guess this whole part right here, except for the Yintico Red, I bought for the channel to do. Yeah, because... These PBR24s, I noticed that no one has done a PBR24 comparison video, so I thought that I would include those. Anyway, so this part is all for the channel. This part, um, this these empty tubes is also for the channel. Um, these are for myself, I guess. These are for the channel because the turquoises and stuff like that. This Jackson's watercolor postcard pad or block, I don't remember, is also for the channel um let's see let's let, let's go this way oh <laughs> since we started from the center might as well go this way um this was for me this is i, I guess more for me than for the channel these stillman and burn and c white sketchbooks are um i guess for me and the channel because i feel like 
uh, I found a, a, an affordable alternative to the Alpha series. These are just empty boxes. The gouache, I would say, is both for me and for the channel because I could, you know, make content on it later down the line. This palette was specifically for me. Um, this PB15 colon 4 Thalo Turquoise by My Mary Blue for the channel. Um, Cobalt Violet for me. Uh, this Cadi sketchbook for me and the channel, I guess. Uh, specifically for me because I wanted to try Cadi, but like, I think I found a gem for all of you. I'm serious. I'm so serious. I like, it was 14 US dollars when I bought it, I think, um, if I remember correctly. 14 or 15, but yeah, it's so, so worth it. And then the Sea White, I also got, um, yeah, for me and the channel. I guess, I guess most of these are for me and the channel. If, if they were all for me, then I don't know where we'd be. <laughs> oh, the Billy Shoal Book of Flowers, definitely for me. But yeah, hopefully you could see that with this big haul, I didn't buy it in one go. And uh, well, mostly due to import limitations. But hopefully you could see that even though it's a big, big, massive haul that costs a lot, I did have the channel in mind and I did have you guys in mind when I purchased most of these items. So if any of you have any questions for me for any of these things, do feel free to put them down below. And I feel like my voice is getting hoarse as it's going, as we're like, you know, ending this video because I have been recording for like almost an hour now. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you today. If there were any videos mentioned, I'll link them down below. Um, hopefully I could separate them into like products and then videos mentioned. But also if I mentioned something that I didn't link a video to, that might probably mean I haven't like, you know, filmed it or um, finished editing it. Um, but yeah, everything I said here, I will be like, you know, doing in the future or like posting, like, you know, making content like, like these two, these cobalt turquoises from Dale Rani that I regret. Uh, I'm just so sad about it that I don't even want to make a video about it. But yeah, since I bought them, I definitely have to make a video about them. So they will come later down the line. Just letting you know that in advance so you know what to expect from the channel. Um, other than like, you know, product reviews or product regret telling stories, um, I will be talking more about my Roman Smalls palette that hopefully will actually go before this video. So I could link that, but also my Introducing Thailand series and then lots more painting because I really like painting. I just haven't had like the best opportunities to film while I paint. So I've been painting a lot, but haven't been filming, which is kind of sad really. But you know, it's all practice. It's all practice. And I'm getting so much more comfortable with painting now that the painting process is so much happier for me now. Yeah. Okay. So that's pretty much it. Uh, that's, I guess that's the update. And that's pretty much all I have for you today. As always, thank you so, so much for watching everyone. Don't forget to drink lots of water and stay hydrated. Okay, I need to go get a glass of water myself because I've been talking nonstop for like an hour or so and, and I'm so, so thirsty. I need to get water. Okay, bye everyone. Please stay safe.